Good morning, I'm Ken Curra from Pride Seeds, a market development agronomist for South Central Ontario, covering Godrich down through London and over to the Niagara Peninsula and uh, the Toronto Corridor. Uh, I wanted to explain today a bit on uh, on trait selection from the from the seed corn marketplace and uh, some subtle differences in uh, in in uh, 5% refuge in a bag trade offerings amongst the different trait suppliers. Pride Seeds is part of AgriLiant Genetics. We evaluate all of these traits from various trait suppliers and we decide what we want to incorporate into our genetics and what's best for our customers. In our publications there's a lot of charts like this one. It displays uh, basically uh, in our publications, there's a lot of charts like this one. Displays the different trade events available in the marketplace. And then on the left-hand side here is, uh, is the key corn pests. And uh, this happens to be our Pride G2 board for the Genuity VT Double Pro event. We have the same, uh, same display for the Pride G8 event featuring Genuity Smart Stacks. And the number of asterisks in here basically displays the number of modes of action for a certain pest. So in our GT Double Pro, for example, we have two modes of action for corn borer, uh, key above ground pest. So uh, that's a very important mechanism to get us to 5% refuge in a bag. So what does this all mean on the farm level for, for a grower in their corn acre? It comes down to comprehensive pest protection and which suppliers are choosing to work with the most modern, newest modes of action and strongest modes of actions in, in corn traits available today. For a pest like true armyworm, where we had such an issue in the southern regions of Ontario last June, true armyworm was one of those pests that really displayed the differences in trait protection from various trait providers and, uh, and the spectrum of insects that they control and to what degree they control them. This is a typical Pride Seeds or AgriLiant net trial. It's one of our pre-commercial trials where we're evaluating different trait packages from various trait providers. And in this picture here, we have the Pride G2 and G8 high hybrids side by side and we have a Roundup Ready Refuge hybrid and we have a Herculex competitor hybrid in the back corner here and the picture pretty much speaks for itself. This is a field that uh, is a sandy soil the grower uses a rye cover crop and we no-till into, uh, into that cover crop in May and once the corn spikes through we burn that cover crop off and uh, unbeknownst to the grower that cover crop was infested with true armyworm. So what's happened here once the rye cover crop as a food source for the armyworm was eliminated they had no choice but to feed on corn and our Pride G2 and G8 hybrids have full protection for true armyworm whereas the Herculex competitor did not display that, does not have that, uh, that protection and visually you can see pretty much a total elimination back there similar to a Roundup Ready Refuge hybrid that has no trait protection at all. So in the case of true armyworm the differences amongst traits was really really well displayed where the armyworm were, uh, were not making out too well in the, in the Pride G2 and G8 platform and uh, electing to feed on, on other unprotected products. So again, it comes down to 5% refuge in a bag, but there are differences. There are apples to oranges comparisons amongst competitors, and uh, it's very important to understand the newest modes of action in terms of trait durability and pest spectrum control.